Hello and welcome to Panthe Plays Morrowind. I'm Nighty, the Black Panther Kitty, and I'll be your host for this episode. And as you can see, we're still on the title screen. I still need to load the Let's Play. Because I want to show you a little bit about the preparations, I have this timer, which I already showed. I now need to, of course, set it to 30 minutes. And since I don't want to disrupt the stream, I can use this little knob. Let me see if, if the focus works. Well, you see this little knob here, I can set it to be silent and it will just blink when the timer is up. So, and before I start the timer, before I officially start the episode, let's wrap up what we were about to do. So let me switch over and show the to-do list, which does not yet work. See, this is one thing that I forgot. I need to first start my helper and then start OBS. Oh, I need to check something is not working out with the to-do list. If that does not work properly, I will have to, you will have to take my word. For, now there it is. <clears throat> I just had to disable the layers in OBS and enable them again for these. These are basically websites for these websites to load. So what you can see, what I can't see on this screen actually, because it's on this OBS screen, but I know what it is. <laughs> we are about to fetch a puzzle box from Arkham Fund. And in order to see where this is, I remember that the journal told us, and it said, head south, south out of the town, past the Silstrider port, then cross bridges east over the Odai River. So we're just going to do that right now. But before, before that, I'm going to have some th little sip of something to drink. This time it's not water, it's some kind of lemonade. And also, let me just start the timer. Speak quickly. No, I'm going to speak with my regular speed. Thank you very much. So we exited as the Silt Strider board. Do we do have some frame drops? The thing is, I can't switch to the now more powerful desktop PC <clears throat> because I upgraded it for virtual reality. <clears throat> Something's tickling on the back of my throat. Let me have another sip of the drink. So we went as the through the two bridges at the signpost head north towards Caldera. So we are passing the fort. And I should have I should have had a, should have had some rest, should have had a head sleep as No, this is not hard lemonade. <clears throat> Actually hard lemonade. Never took hold in Germany because people got so shit-faced. Um, there were, were actually debates about banning it, or as, as we called them, alcopops. Um, there we have, let's see. Uh, immediately on the right, see a signpost for Molagmar and turn right head uphill. So that's basically run towards the other dwarven ruin that, you want, that we have here. Where's my asthma kicking in now? Don't worry, people. I just have to breathe a little bit more shallow. I don't know why this is kicking in right at this moment. I think this bridge was mentioned. Across the bridge. And... <clears throat> yes, it actually is... This Dwarven Ruins here that I'm pretty sure we already looted. So that's not... Good, because this means we need to check. I think we already looted it. It usually is the first thing that I do in the game. But it could be that I did something else. What is this? Oh, just a little bit of a little piece of wall. So this turns the crank. So that was usually the first thing I'm doing. Let me just take a look at the local map. And yes, it looks fully explored. Just real quick. Yeah, there is there is not a single of the humanoid enemies left. Yeah, this this we have already explored. So we I don't suppose that the puzzle puzzle box is here. 
So if we've been here, then we most likely sold all of it to uh, Ravir, to whom we sold everything back when we were doing this. So let's check if Ravir has the puzzle box still. Let me just... Um, just do this. Uh, let's check if Ravir has the puzzle box so we can finish this quest actually quickly. I did not remember that this was actually one of the quests. I always did this basically from exploring. And there, are, there are two things that I do when I start a new game. First thing is, once you're uh, heading out of Saidanin towards Balmora, this cave where you get the shard, shard, spark sword. I think that's the name. The, the dagger with the shock damage. And usually I beat the... The one time I beat the game, I did so with that with that dagger. Because for some reason, that seemed to be the best weapon for me. I did not hit with any other weapon. But maybe that was just because I was so bad with short blades. <clears throat> so good with short blades and bad with other weapons. So that it did not work, I mean... This also is a short blade weapon. But for some reason all the other effects did not work properly for me. Or it seemed like they were weaker. And but here I am. Properly switching weapons. Okay, so let's enter Belmora. Let's check if Ravir has what we need. This could be a very short quest then. And then of course we'll ask what the next duty is that Chaos Casadas has for us. Because of course we also want to progress in the game. For some reason I have frame drops here. I always had the frame drops in Zedroth Mora, now I have them here. So let's see, P O Z no way. Does not look like there is a puzzle box. It would be very bad if, if it kind of despawned. Well, let's check the others, but I'm pretty sure that I did not trade with them back then. Despawned as in inventory reset. Yeah, they don't have anything, right? Hmm. It should be impossible to sell quest items or something like that. So if I can't find them here, if I can't find it here, I will have to re-enter re the ruins and search for it. Let me see everyone who has stuff. I bet they wouldn't have bought it. I'm pretty sure that Ajira wouldn't have bought it. <clears throat> Oh, she's not. Quite intriguing. Please share your thoughts. Welcome. Please don't oh, shy. Indeed, I'm a new friend. Everyone's talking to me at the same time. That's too much. I'm pretty sure there is no books here. No, no, no. So I think we will have to, because these are the only people I can think about. Uh, I can think of me having sold the box to. Before I run all through the ruins, let me real quick search. I just wanted to hit F3, which in Minecraft shows the frames per second. This seems really nasty. Which is weird because, as I said, I only had this on, inside Anin on my old desktop PC, which is weaker than this this, this machine. And there are no updates for the game that I installed on purpose. Okay, so I did not, that's that's what I assumed, I did not put the stuff here because I did not use him as a storage. So sadly this means I need to real quick run through the place again. Oh, I could have sold it to one of the people down here actually. So let me check these. 
This also has frame drops, but this is due to the to the thousand lanterns. This is to be yes. anticipated, actually. Sorry, stranger. My time is short, so get on with it. This not, does not seem like there is a puzzle box in his inventory. No. Please have a look around. Oh, I'm, I'm currently having a look around. Thank you very much. Excuse me. This is what I get for drinking soda. Let's hear it. Okay, I'm looking for a puzzle box. Well, you, you don't have one, you see? That's exactly what I assumed. But I needed to check anyway, because I want to know whom I sold this to. Oh, <laughs> he likes my outfit. Why do you approach? Very nice people here. Zurizar uh, is drunk and he doesn't care. What can he do now? And don't touch my tail. Well, yeah, don't touch. Don't touch the tail of a first suitor, especially don't pull on it. That's uh, very rude. So, Jocelyn has the time. You are buttering. No. I'm kind of hoping that it will just appear, that it will just show up when I when I talk to one of these. Um, because I'm pretty sure that when I run through the ruins, it'll take a long time and it'll turn out that there is nothing left. This is a bit, a bit of a bummer, but we will sort it out. To be honest, in the worst case, I'm going to check if I can find, uh, let's say, a non not so legal way to get it. So, I mean, if 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 worst comes to, how do you say, if if, if, if there's, in the worst case, then I will I will just resort to cheating because I don't want to stop playing just because I accidentally looted that thing and I have no clue where I sold it or if some um, merchant has reset but we'll just head inside and real quick check if we can find the puzzle box after all the game must be solvable right Oh, yeah, these are real. I mean, in reality, these things can also happen. These are real um, risks that you take if you destroy something that later turns out to be a to be a quest item. Then, of course, you're kind of fucked. Uh, on the other hand, <clears throat> this is a game, so it doesn't need to be like that. It's one of the reasons why I did not enjoy the Sierra games so much. Because they have similar things, if you forget to take an item, you can't progress to the point where you need it, you can't go back anymore. Oh, yeah, it was the other way, it was left before the fort. Um, you can't progress past that and you can't go back to fetch the item. And that's, uh, in my opinion, that's bad game design. The dying itself... I also disliked, but honestly, it is okay because you can learn how you die, you can learn from it. Back when I was little and struggling to understand English, this was kind of, uh, yeah, one second, I think I'm running in the wrong direction. Yes, I am. See, I'm so distracted by talking to you that, that I'm missing the forks that I need to take. There it is. So yeah, the, uh, the, the you can learn from the dying, but I did not. I was unable to because I could not read the text. So I didn't understand what happened. I didn't understand how I triggered the death scene. Um, 
So this is why these days I'm planning to actually redo these games. I'm not yet really sure yet if I'm going to do this in English or German. I've not decided on the language for each Let's Play yet. But on the other hand, you can check out, I do have a Trello board. I shall link to it from now on. So check the video description for a link to the Trello board. And in there you see all the plans that I have. <clears throat> so you will be able to, to so vote. So there should, voting should be enabled. Yeah, I think we, we took a long time doing this one, actually. I think we actually looted it pretty well. Should not be a single thing here anymore. As you can see, all the cog wheels are gone. Oh no, they aren't. Then we're just going to real quick nick them out of here. Just drop them in the city and then, then head back into the, into the, yeah, it is ruins. Yes. So where are they? There. It's a bit embarrassing failing to do something as simple as a recall spell. So I'm pretty sure if we don't find the cube, it's gone. And then I will simply check on how I can acquire it using the console. Even though this is cheating, but I'm really, really honest here. Um, I would be super bored and super annoyed and you would be super bored if I just run around the whole world to see where that cube is, which is the precondition of progressing in the main quest. It was some kind of side quest. I would have been thinking about just dropping it and just just thinking about, well, maybe, maybe I find it on some occasion. I put a post-it note on my on my screen telling me, hey, whenever you go to a new uh, to a new person, to a new merchant check if they do have the well that sounded like being me being attacked actually oh no it's it's just the sound <laughs> this sounded like an attack actually and it's not yeah I'm just following the right hand side so this is the Okay, so this is this is this good. I can just the main hub basically. Yeah, I remember I did not collect all of these because they are heavy and they're actually not that valuable. But now that I now that I have set into my mind that I can just come on, this concentration is key. But I can just drop them and they will stay there indefinitely. I can just... Well, actually it's abusing the mechanic, but to be honest, I don't care that much. So let us real quick refill our magic card. There we go. Luckily we don't need to eat. I think the box was on one sh some shelf or something. So let's real quick, there's an old bed with no mattress. And uh, someone is talking to us, but I don't get a single word he's saying. Might be the ancient Dwemer language. Maybe we should learn that. The Heavens Gallery. Could be that was here-ish. Let's check. That was too fast for me to actually see if there was something in there. But I'm sure I just cleaned every picked everything clean and then down here into the magma forge at least that's what dwarf fortress would call it 
Well, there is still a cogwheel. There's another one. And another one, and now we should have too much burden on us, on ourselves. So let us mark. Well, okay, it is, it, it is a good thing that we're doing this because I'm basically cleaning out the thing. But I'm not going to sell all that stuff now. I'm just going to put it here and keep it here. And as I said, the puzzle box. I could check in the temple. Ah, skill increase. See, there is good coming from out of this, but it basically is just a little bit of grind. Let's check that one. Nope. This one is unlocked and empty. Just as I had assumed. No, oh, there is enemies, and we're going to do this because we can safely paralyze ourselves, and the mm, the health drain does not affect us. So I'm going to use this. So this actually sounds a bit more of a deep war passage. Ooh. I think these are leveled creatures, and as you can see, we've been here. Um, okay, so I need to do this. So no drain, because the item does not have enough charge, but there we go. We can also try to recharge. We have a rat. And just drop this on ourselves. Recharge the short sword of paralysis. Oh, didn't work. Well, that's what happens. And there is the centurion dropping to the ground, not leaving any sort of loot behind. And we can also rest. The challenge now is to stay at the peak as long as you can. You may be as strong today as any mortal who's ever walked the earth. But there's always someone younger, a new challenger. Talking about strength, I'm going to increase these two. Definitely. And um, let's go for endurance, even though it's, it's not highlighted, because it also increases the health gain per level. Dodge hit, I'm good. Maximum fatigue. Uh, no, let's go for this. Let's go for maximum fatigue and the ability to hit targets and to dodge. And then we have these three, which of course again means I need to unload. This. And it's raining. And there we go. So there is now more enemies. Of course, these are also a bit stronger. That's what I wanted to say. There is a spider up here. Of course, I do want the... I think I've been up there. See, this actually is susceptible to fire. The Centurion was not. So we're going, just going to use our fire for the Centurion Sphere. Well, no. Could be that the, the right thing to, to have implemented basically would have been um, yeah, it still hits though because it's silver. Uh, the right thing would have been for the uh, for the cube to not appear. I think this yes, this is a big centurion. So let's hit him with the poison damage. A 
he actually does not do that much damage. Let's still hit him with the poison damage. There we go. Letting him drop metal. Yeah, I definitely remember searching this. Because I remember telekinesing up here. Uh, not telekinesing, um, levitating. But I'm still going to do it. Just to see. Also, I'm going to ignore the blinking light that will appear in six minutes, indicating to me that the um, recording time is over. I'm going to finish running through this, and then we're going to end the episode. And as I said, if I don't find this, I'm just going to go and um, research research the cheat, basically. We did gain a little bit. I mean, we did get a level up, we did get some skill ups, so mm, it wasn't a complete waste of time. We can get, yes, we can get up there. Definitely can do this. And there is nothing but this enemy, but that's okay. Because it's also not very strong. No, there is also a chest which co actually contains things. It's nice. Still think we already have been here. Just didn't bother to take the goblets. And I'm going to real quick head over <clears throat> hello you so there's a few enemies here that we can still dispose of and also I can I can do something else I can summon some creatures Took a lot of magic off from me, but still, it increases our um, summoning skill. That's why I did this. Basically, there is another one of these. Another one of these ghosts just come over. There we go. Thank you, Mr. Bonewalker. You did the, the job for me. And of course, we still can hear the spider, but I'm pretty sure that all of this is looted. Yeah. As the chest is unlocked and, and nothing is standing here at all anymore. This is all looted yet. Okay. I'm far enough away from the spider so I can rest. Also, this has recharged my um, my sword now. Okay, so the spider is, yeah, it's, it's coming. There you go. It's melting the, the, the joints or something of the spider. It's That's at least the reasoning why 
this destroys them. For for living beings, it's kind of kind of obvious because you're kind of cooking them with a fire. But for machines like the spiders, I would just assume the metal melts. There's nothing laying on there, no. Nope. This is... This is where the spider came from, so we just went in, in a circle. And we already checked this. I don't know if I, I did not I did never check this. But it would be weird if this would I'm pretty sure that I already found it, so let's still levitate up here and see what awaits us if we cross the destroyed bridge. Because this is an area this actually now is a genuinely new area. This looks you will die where you stand. Like, a, like someone. I will bathe in your blood. <clears throat> well, that, that worked very well for you, didn't it? Bathing in my blood. Okay, so there's a lantern here. There is this thing which looks like some kind of elevator, but it doesn't work. And ah, it's an observatory. It's an observatory. That's what this is. So how did this guy, well, I guess levitation too. How did this guy get here is I wanted, what I wanted to ask. So now it's the blinking red telling me I should end this episode, which I'm not going to do. Oh, that, that, was, that was not the message. You failed. That was the message. My skill increased. Anyway. I guess I can yeah, only rest on solid ground, so I need to do this. Wait for the telekin—I always say telekinesis, the tele levitation. Damn it, words! Wait for the levitation to wear off, and then I can actually heal. So this is—I'm pretty sure that I won't find anything else if I just go here. But I'm still going to check. Nonetheless, let me just stop this. All of the centrifuge. This is basically where we came from. So yeah, to make it short, I am just going to exit and then I'm going to research basically the command which to use to give me the item. Oh, wait a second. No, there's one more thing that I'm going to do. Yes, we've been down there from the other side. As I said, we've already checked the whole place anyway. Maybe I sold it to the temple, so I'm going to can actually re do this a bit quicker by just casting on CV intervention. Someone left this mess on the floor. Oh, well, maybe we sh should clean it up at some point. See if someone here in the temple has it. But it could be that the uh, items that people have reset. And this means that the item has been destroyed. I remember something about this. I'm not 100% I'm not sure, to be honest. So this is why I'm just going to give me puzzle box if this does not work out. Oh, here are books and things. And here's another person. Nope, I don't need to separate them. More ingredients. Okay. Don't I know you from somewhere? Uh, many people know me, so could be. So let's just do exactly what I said. Let us just 
I know that there are people upstairs, but I'm, now I'm starting to get too lazy and annoyed. So let me just go here. And then I'm going to save the game and check, the, check a guide, check how to get the puzzle box. And next week I will hopefully have it. I'm sorry about that. Sorry if this episode is a bit is a bit boring, and I'm also sorry for for resorting to cheats. But I, honestly, I don't want to search the whole world for where I put it. So I hope you forgive me, and still watch me next week on Panthe Plays Morrowind. Bye bye. <laughs>